I asked Dame mm. Janet one mm. time about how she looked at being a singer and the power of music. So may I reference, I, now I speak about this to young singers, I've written about it, I talk about it all the time, and I think I always credit you, that's my intention anyway. This is for me the greatest description of what it is to be a singing artist. Would you talk about the glass? I use the word glass out, out of the spur of the moment and as I think about it, uh, a glass is not a mirror. It's something you do not see yourself in. You look through it at something else, either the audience or at the, at the responsibility which you have to the, the composer and the, and the librettist. You've, you've got to keep the glass clean. You've got to be able to see out to that purpose, which is uh, bigger than you are. And you've also got to allow people to look in. There is a sense of, uh, of nakedness, actually. It's, very, very, it's a very brave thing to do, to stand up in front of people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And bear your soul. Mm -hmm. It's not the sort of place that's usually done. And yet, that is what we're required to do. Um, that kind of responsibility is enormous. And one can't expect it to be perfect. We can't keep the glass clean all the time. But mm -hmm. that's what, what I think performing is about. That you, are, you are serving something um, much, much more important and bigger than you are. And yet you have an important role to play. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep the glass clean. I love that. Young singers out there listening, Rewind that part. <laughs> and when you get to this part of the second time, rewind it again. <laughs> Transcribe it and write it down. Because it's what I love about that analogy is, and you've enhanced it tonight, thank you. The, you said at the beginning, too, that, that you want to become transparent like a glass so that the emotion and the music can pass through unhindered. Mm -hmm. But the work of keeping a glass clean is endless. And you never, as soon as it's clean, there's a speck of dust. Yeah. Or it looks clean from this angle, and then the light shines, and you say, oh, it's full of smears. Oh, I've got to get that. Sure. It's diction. It's technique. It's breath control. It's the psychology of the character. It's the musical intentions of the artist. It's the vocal technique itself. It's really endless, because this is always shifting and changing. But at the end of the day, that idea of disappearing and allowing that two-way vision, I think there's so few people that are able to achieve that. Mm -hmm. And it's been remarkable to know, to hear you explain it, because that's the thing I think we always experience in listening to you and watching, is you were in service of the emotion and the composer and the text. And when the artistic standard is held to that level and with beauty of, of expression, then I don't worry about the industry. I don't worry mm -hmm. about anything because that's mm -hmm. something that bypasses intellect and contemporary productions or traditional productions. It, goes, it just goes to the heart.